I would like to introduce the next speaker. Uh, he's a, uh, Dr. Keiichi Itatani. Dr. Itatani is a cardiac surgeon specialized in congenital heart. Oh, my video, sorry. Um, he is currently appointed to an associate professor and director of the Center for Adult Congenital Heart Disease at Nagoya City University. Also, he is a gifted mathematician as well as a researcher on fluid dynamics. He has in, uh, developed a methodology and computer softwares to simulate fluid dynamics using echocardiography or phase contrast MRI. He is a founder and a pr uh, project team leader of CardioFlow Design Inc., a company that de deals with his software. The title of his lecture is Four Dimensional Imaging for Assessing Hemodynamics in Complex Congenital Heart Surgery. Uh, Itatani Sensei, please go ahead. Okay, uh, please share by slide. Uh, I'm a cardiac surgeon and also a researcher of fluid dynamics, uh, as uh, Dr. Yuji introduced. Uh, so, my uh, clinical uh, specialty is adult congenital heart surgery. Uh, which uh, actually includes both user cardiac uh, surgery in the adult and pediatric congenital heart surgery. But my biggest concern is reoperation and unrepaired uh, uh, hemodynamics of adult congenital heart disease. So, COI disclosure. I am a founder of a venture company named CardioFlow Design, which delivers blood flow imaging software or contract analysis uh, with supercomputer based on a theorem of fluid mechanics. Uh, I got uh, several governmental, Japanese governmental grants uh, uh, and fund some up to around $10 million. So this is uh, uh, my uh, surgical record of a complex adult congenital heart surgery uh, that is a double root replacement if after the loss procedure. Uh, that means uh, aortic root re-implantation concomitant with the RV or TR with a valve conduit. And the surgeon uh, make a point uh, with a needle uh, to suture uh, with a thread uh, that generate uh, 1D curves in 3D space and connects uh, uh, cardiovascular structures. Uh, so in general, cardiac surgery is a process to construct 3D structure uh, from 1D curves. So uh, blood flow uh, optimization in 3D structure uh, are essential uh, for this purpose anatomy and physics of uh, blood flow or physiology are quite important. That is why I have developed blood flow imaging. Uh, here we've shown an example. Uh, this is a large ASDA case, uh, an unrepaired uh, case uh, in the elderly if who suffered from dizziness and effort and cyanosis with cardiomegaly and congestion. Echocardiography demonstrated a large ASD a, and severe tricuspid regurgitation, part of the flow penetrated into the LA, a, which causes the cyanosis, and the pulmonary valve has a stenosis with regurgitation. Pleasure study indicated a pulmonary stenosis has some kind of bonding effect on pulmonary vascular bed uh, regarding the uh, left ventricular diastolic function low level of and diastolic pressure were observed. QPQS was 5.5. For the assessment of hemodynamics, 40 flow MRI is a powerful tool. And this is a software named IT Flow, uh, which acquired the FDA approval uh, that I have developed. Uh, User-friendly interface segment RV and LV lumen uh, where a blood flow is visualized both in 2D and 3D. Additional functions such as uh, flow energy loss estimation or pass line analysis are easily handled. Body flow MRI is based on a model MRI named phase contrast or PC MRI, which can measure the blood flow velocity distribution of arbitrarily a direction of the magnetic gradient field. When we extract 
the cardiovascular lumen, we can reconstruct the blood flow velocity vector. And uh, because MRI has accumulated slices, uh, 3D4 streamline or pass line with pulsation are visualized. This is 4D flow MRI. Uh, we go back again uh, to uh, the ASD case in elderly, uh, and the body flow MRI demonstrated a highly enlarged RV with reduced ejection fraction, uh, whereas uh, left ventricular uh, volume uh, was relatively small. A high amount of blood flow uh, with moderate grade uh, pulmonary regurgitation was observed in the pulmonary uh, circulation, and QPQS was 5.0. Uh, so, uh, ASD closure, uh, shunt closure, in addition to the pulmonary or tricuspid valve intervention, surely reduces the RV load. However, uh, it actually increases the LV plane load, uh, indicating the uh, feeling pressure increase, uh, which sometimes causes lung congestion. Uh, so, a uh, player preparatory examination of the left uh, uh, ventricular diastolic function and the mitral or uh, valve uh, are quite important. If necessary, a, a medication uh, therapy such as diuretics are uh, quite helpful, or intraoperative uh, uh, mitral aneuplasty uh, should be considered. In this case actually had mitral regurgitation, mild mitral regurgitation, um, but uh, co-optation is quite shallow. Uh, because of the shrinkage of the posterior mitral leaflet and the dilatation of the AP diameter. So uh, my strategy is a two-month administration of muscle tendon and uh, diuretics uh, as a treatment. And as a repair, uh, ASD should be partially closed with a fenestrated patch and the mitral and tricuspid valve should be repaired concomitant with the uh, pulmonary uh, valve replacement as a, uh, with a biopulsidic valve and full maze procedure. Uh, here we show the surgical video. Uh, posterior mitral leaflet was so uh, short, uh, well, we augmented uh, using the autologous pericardium uh, to get the uh, sufficient cooperation lengths. We added a uh, uh, rigid link uh, aneuplasty to control the mitral regurgitation. And ASD was partially closed with a fenestrated pericardial patch, and a pulmonary valve has second reflex that cannot be preserved. So, a uh, bioprosthetic valve was used to replace uh, the pulmonary valve and uh, full base procedures uh, are added uh, concomitantly. And, and finally, bicuspid aneuplasty uh, uh, was added, was added uh, using a uh, uh, flexible. 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 Uh, uh, link, link. Uh, 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 based, based on, on the rapid link. Post-operative post cause was optimal. Uh, uh, Improvement of the lung, lung congestion was observed, was observed uh, uh, partially due to, due due to the ventilation uh, 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 ASD patch. Uh, so, so uh, increased LV load contributed to LV enlargement for this small side LV. And, and this patient, patient underwent a uh, uh, device closure uh, of the fenestrated ASD successfully. The second, the second case, case is a young, is a young female, female uh, uh, with, with the diagnosis of single RV, RV after, after the uh, uh, cardiac quantum procedure uh, uh, who suffered, suffered from cyanosis, uh, uh, but she, she wishes to have a baby. Uh, uh, her anatomy, anatomy uh, has, uh, has the left side SPC, SPC uh, uh, which is anastomosed to the left primary, primary artery, and, and the left side IVC, anastomosed to the tube glove, uh, 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 which is located, located on the on right, right side of the heart, and, and the anastomosed to the right primary artery. artery. A shortage of, of the hepatic venous flow caused disorder of the maturity of the primary vascular bed. 
so so oh, this case have have uh, uh, several yeah, yeah power edges only, only in the oh, left, left flank uh, uh, which require, require repetitive, repetitive uh, uh, coil amplification the patient, the patient finally, finally uh, wishes uh, wish to, to uh, change a uh, half quantum configuration uh, and, and was referred to my hospital uh, from uh, uh, Dr. Yuji's hospital, hospital uh, which, uh, which was located far away from my, from my institution, institution uh, uh, around the six, six hours hour by a car. So, so uh, play of the examination, examination uh, uh, by forty four MRI, MRI demonstrated the mild distribution of the RBC flow or oh, yeah, illustrated with red, red color, uh, uh, only in dominant degree to the right, right primary artery uh, due to the, to the flow collision from, from the left, left side of the shaft. So my, so my next, next challenge is, is to, to develop uh, uh, software uh, to perform surgical planning. After, after the extraction of the quantum, quantum geometry, geometry from, from the city scan, uh, uh, the, the computer graphics uh, can uh, uh, modify the geometry and, and even, put even put a new, a new graph, for example, for example from, from the innominate vein to the line of primary artery. A surgeon or physician can, can, can perform virtual surgery, surgery in a computer. computer. Uh, and after, after the creation, creation of new quantum geometry, uh, the, the geometry can, can be uploaded uh, to the internet cloud, where, where supercomputer calculates the blood flow, and the results, results uh, are again, again downloaded to the on-site software, software uh, to, uh, to examine, examine the pulse of the hemodynamics. This, this technique, technique is based, is based on, on the CFD or computational, computational fluid dynamic simulation. Uh, uh, the process is a collection of quantum geometry, uh, which is subdivided into the computational meshes on each, on each node, flow velocity, flow velocity and, and flash, flash distribution are calculated. A uh, physiological boundary condition should be uh, uh, provided uh, for, for all inlets and outlets. outlets. Uh, for, uh, example, for example, SBC and IBC flow uh, should be given uh, by the uh, uh, MRI flow measurement. measurement. Palmary Palmary arterial, arterial pressure, pressure can be uh, provided uh, using, using the catheter pressure measurement uh, combined with some, some kind of physiological cellulite. Mass and, and momentum preservation equation on its cells are calibrated using computer and, and finally, finally yeah, we, we get, get the flow velocity vector distribution on each node of the mesh, mesh uh, uh, or a 3D reconstructed, reconstructed flow streamline or pleasure, or pleasure distribution. We go, we go back, back again, again to, the to the case. Play play uh, as mentioned in 40, 40 flow MRI, MRI uh, uh, IBC flow uh, uh, is was, was supplied dominantly to the, the right, right primary artery. If we, if we uh, uh, divide the original, the original vent chant completely and uh, add, add, add a new glass from, from the inner main vein uh, uh, to the right, the right primary artery, uh, uh, then, then on the other hand, hand uh, RBC flow, flow uh, 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 go dominantly only, only to the left primary artery. So, so we decided, we decided to, uh, to uh, fly the original left side plane in addition, addition to the new, new glass from the inner main vein to the right primary artery. And, and here, here we show, we show the surgical video. After, after the, the establishment of the cardiac primary bypass, the right primary artery uh, was harvested and incised, which was not small to the Guatex ring graft, whose diameter was 14 millimeter, based, based on, on the simulation observed. The, the opposite side, side of the graft was then an osmosis to the vein, uh, yeah, uh, which was so thin and, and carefully, carefully and a small, uh, with, uh, with a small, small needle. needle. Finally, uh, I plugged the, 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 the original uh, uh, left side of the uh, uh, with a running suture. suture. So, so the final, final computation of this quantification uh, uh, became, became as, as uh, shown, shown in the video. video. So uh, post-operative hemodynamics was uh, quite fine. Uh, balanced distribution uh, of the IVC flow to the bilateral lungs uh, due to the uh, restriction uh, of the original left side plane shunt. 
Uh, so uh, she still has the cyanosis, but the uh, saturation law on exercise improved uh, to some extent. Uh, and here we show uh, the final case uh, with the complex hemodynamics uh, in a complex anatomy. Uh, this is a 31 year old male with a diagnosis of uh, false tau being anomaly that is DORV with TGA. After the charting procedure with a recon maneuver, uh, he has residual BSD and severe power regurgitation, uh, supply aortic stenosis at the level of the SD junction uh, with moderate grade aortic regurgitation. Uh, he also uh, underwent uh, coarctation repair as a subclavian flap. Uh, he now suffers from dyspnea, uh, liver kilosis, and protein losing enteropathy, uh, which requires uh, subcutaneous infusion of gamma globulin every week. So, uh, to resolve uh, the congestion of the right side heart, uh, primary valve replacement uh, concomitant with uh, uh, legitimate VS closure would be necessary. But how about uh, supra aortic stenosis and aortic regurgitation? Uh, is root replacement necessary? If so, left primary artery should be divided and reconstructed uh, due to the local maneuver. Complex heart anatomy was examined based on the uh, 3D reconstruction of the CT scan. Uh, left primary artery was located in front of the aortic root, uh, which has stenosis at the level of the SD junction. Large residual VSD was observed uh, in this case, and single coronary arterial system uh, was observed also in the CT scan. Right side heart was enlarged. Hemodynamics uh, should be assessed uh, with 44 MRI. A high amount of primary uh, arterial flow with moderate grade. The regurgitation was observed uh, partially due to the uh, high amount of residual VSD flow. Uh, regarding the systemic flow, uh, two flow acceleration sites was observed. The first one is the SD junction, and the second one uh, was the uh, uh, recoactation site. So uh, to examine the effect of uh, root uh, replacement, uh, I performed the batch of surgery in a computer uh, and a simple uh, BSD closure uh, uh, still has a flow acceleration, uh, which uh, can be improved uh, by the root replacement. Uh, so uh, pressure gradient was high. Uh, uh, only by the simple BSD closure, uh, which also uh, improved uh, by the root replacement. And here we show the surgical video. Uh, I have divided the uh, left primary artery at first to uh, expose the aortic root, and the ascending aorta was uh, clamped and divided. Uh, aortic root uh, was harvested. Uh, creation of the uh, coronary bottom uh, was performed. Afterward, a VSD was closed using a bovine pericardial patch from the left side, and uh, re-implantation was applied uh, partially using the VSD patch. Aortic valve regurgitation was well controlled, and aortic root replacement was successfully performed uh, following left primary arterial reconstruction using the cortex limb blood in addition to the primary valve replacement uh, with RV arterial reconstruction uh, using a bovine pericardial patch. Post-operative course was uh, quite optimal uh, with an aortic regurgitation and the patient became free from dyspnea and PLE. A subcutaneous uh, infusion of gamma globally uh, became unnecessary, and sufficient level of total protein and albumin uh, were acquired. Uh, Post-operative hemodynamics 
was also examined in polyploid MRI, uh, which has quite similar uh, hemodynamics uh, compared with the one in the play of this simulation. Uh, here we show the final slide. Uh, these are the uh, blood flow imaging tools that I have developed. Uh, there are two kinds of blood flow uh, imaging. Numerical calculation based one, such as CFD simulation, and measurement based one, uh, such as body flow MRI or echocardiography vector flow mapping. Uh, mechanical stress caused by disease turbulent flow uh, can be estimated some kind of parameters such as water stress or flow energy loss by blood flow imaging. Thank you for your attention.